So beef is four shooting principles. Balance, feet shoulder width apart almost, right foot just in front of your left. Knees are always a little bent in an athletic position. Last part of that is you always have 10 toes facing the basket. We try to have them square to the basket so our hips and shoulders are square to the basket as well. A lot of people say I'm not a, a true point guard or a traditional point guard. And they say I'm not really a two guard because I'm smaller or what have you. So kind of merging the two is a hybrid using my shot as a, a weapon to open up different angles on the floor, but still being creative enough to be a playmaker as well. So, you know, I'm not the fastest guy, I'm not the most athletic guy, but I try to be as, de as deceptive as possible using you know, my shot, change the speed, or, or what have you, to play the point guard position the way I know how and do it, do it well. Eyes. Wherever you are, if you look at the rim, see the little hooks holding the net up? There are always three of them facing you. And that's about the width of a basketball. So when I look at, or even where I'm standing here, there's always three. I try to put the basketball right over the middle one. That hook gives me a, a legit target. It's all core for me. That's, that's the way I hold my ground. Guys like to try to post me up, and I like to hold them where I am, knowing that I got a strong core. Nobody's really gonna try to move me. You know, a lot of, uh, I call them those little slam balls, like slamming them all around the gym, putting on weighted vests and doing exercises like that. So, you know, I like to load myself a lot and, and I really push myself in that area because I know it'll help me be a better basketball player. My second E is your elbow. Parallel to the ground to start, perpendicular to the, to the rim. You don't want chicken wing, so you want to shoot through your elbow. That's kind of been my mantra for you know, my whole basketball career is never feel like I've got even close to reaching my plateau and there's always room to improve, there's always room to do more than you did before. It hopefully inspires people to whatever field you're in, whatever you do to be you know, the hardest worker you can, to find ways to separate yourself from the competition. As an NBA player, that's, that's what I, I want to accomplish. At a certain point, you know, reach my plateau and, and uh, hopefully it's Hopefully it's a ways off because I want to accomplish a lot more. An exaggerated follow through promotes a higher arc, more rotation on the ball. And when you're playing, if somebody's taking pictures, no matter if you make it or miss it, you always look good. So when they take pictures of me to the game, you don't know if I made it or missed it because the follow through is always the same.